Hello everybody, welcome to Lifting with Arthritis. Welcome to another poorly shot, not edited video. <laughs> but if you're here for uh, some good tips and advice on working out with arthritis, or lupus for that matter, uh, welcome. Um, we've gotten a couple new subscribers since last time. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Um, you'll notice this time I'm sitting down because it falls in line with what I'm talking about. Today I want to talk about Something I mentioned before, um, it's the importance of consistency, but more to the point, how to be consistent when you're having a flare up is what this is about. Um, if you have a schedule, whether you work out five days a week, four days a week, every other day, whatever you set your schedule up for hitting the gym, hit that schedule. Life's gonna throw things at you that are gonna get in the way of your workout, you know, uh, you have to go to the hospital, uh, you have to go to a funeral. Events happen, you have to miss your workout for those. But outside of those, don't let a flare up stop you from working out. Um, you just gotta work around what you can do on those days. Um, yesterday, uh, the prime example, I woke up and it was a flare up. My, 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 just a uh, quick help update. I've uh, been having some weird flare ups. Uh, not quite as severe as it used to be, but definitely more often and definitely um, in ways I haven't experienced before. Uh, yesterday it was my neck and shoulders real bad and, and kind of in my mid back a little bit, but I didn't even realize it was a flare at first. I was like, why do I, why is this so sore? <laughs> and um, man, I was just exhausted all day. Um, I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, but I had to work out that morning, and I did. <laughs> uh, fortunate for me, it was a pull day. So um, my shoulders being so sore wasn't really an issue. My neck being sore was a big issue. Um, so that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about workarounds for stuff like that. Um, what I did, because it was a pull day, instead of doing the weighted pull-ups I normally do, I just did uh, body weight pull-ups and if I couldn't have done those, I would have done uh, lat pull downs. You know, you grab the cable and pull it down. I would have done those. Um, fortunately, I could do body weight pull ups. It did hurt a little bit. And that's the other thing too. When you do these things, don't just jump right into it. Um, if you woke up, wake up feel, having a flare up and something hurts. So for this example I'm gonna use today, um, I'll be using uh, front raises as an example. Um, but on the days you wake up feeling like that, like what I did, you you might be tempted to think, oh, well, I'll skip my workout today and I'll work out harder tomorrow, but you don't know how you feel tomorrow. So I strongly advise against that. If you feel bad, you wake up feeling a flare up, go to the gym anyways and do what you can. You're not, obviously you're not gonna get as good a workout. Obviously you're not gonna be able to do certain exercises, but you'll get it in. And that's the important part is stay moving even when you feel bad. Um, so, and just when you feel bad, focus less on the weight and more on the contraction. Um, just getting it moving. Prime example, um, today was a, was a shoulder day. My shoulders are still not 100%, it's still bothering me a little bit. Um, so what I did, um, you know, I test, I, before each exercise, I actually uh, did what I showed you in a previous video. I just, I tested it out to see how I felt. So you start off with something real, oh, before I get to that. Also, I'm sitting down because sitting down is a great way to make the exercise harder. That's what I did today. When today, because my shoulders were bothering me, instead of standing up when I did the exercise to make it more athletic and you know be able to get some swing into the movements, I sat down for every exercise um, to take the swing out of it to, to so the, the muscle has to work you know, way harder when you're sitting down. And if you don't believe me, try it. Try it. Try a, try a, a lateral raises in particular. Try a lateral raise like this, standing up, and then try it sitting down. It's a, it's ten times harder. Um, so that's why I'm sitting down for this video. Um, so yeah, today, like what I did, um, I tested the waters out. You know, I was feeling sore, so obviously I did some warm ups and then stretches and stuff. And you grab a, you know, a lightweight, see how it feels. Just do like five, 
warm it up and then that was fine so i step it up a little heavier that was fine and then if i wanted to which i did i actually went, went heavier but if i didn't want to go heavier you can stay at this weight but mix it up so instead of just doing this you can mix it up by doing eights it's a great way your muscles stay contracted it's a great way to get an exercise in uh, you get the burn it's and as this is this is a 15 pound kettlebell it's nothing but you can feel the burn um so but if you don't want to if you want to go heavier you just if you did even if you did the eights and you still feel like you don't want to go a little further than that then after you do a set of that grab a heavier weight and crank it out but slow and up slow Go up and slow on the way down in particular. And this is only 20 pounds. But because you're seated, because you're doing them slow, it spares the, uh, like I'm, I'm, like I just told you, I'm sore in my shoulders today. And that didn't hurt at all because I did them slow and methodical and just focus on the strain in the muscle. Um, I think that's all I really had for you. Um, trying to keep these videos short. So yeah. Um, don't skip your workouts is the point. Um, when you feel bad, keep moving. Um, prime example, there were several exercises I couldn't do yesterday when my flare was real bad in my neck. Um, so I skipped those exercises. And I think they were, it only ended up being three exercises I could do comfortably. So that's all I did. But I got it in. I got it in a full 45 minutes. I was sweating. I got up a good workout. And I moved on. Um, and I'll tell you right now, too. I felt better after. You know, the joints felt a little, felt more loose. Uh, the flare didn't go away. It continued the whole day. <laughs> but the, but I, the joints did feel a little better after. Um, it didn't hurt me. Um, and this is what I've always done. Um, I've had this condition for a very long time, so I can tell you, you'll be all right. <laughs> um, obviously, um, if you're new to the gym, you might want to consult the doctor first. Uh, my doctor looks at me like I'm crazy when uh, I tell her I weight lift, but it works. Um, I feel great. Um, so I hope this helped you in some small way. Um, again, consistency. Try it sitting down. Take the momentum out. Um, and if you feel real sore, do what I do. Grab a light weight, feel it out, see how you do, and then go heavier if you can. And if you can't go heavier, just stick with that light weight. I mean, seriously. Prime, this is this is a five pound plate. That's all. But if you do it, just focus. Focus on it. Hold it out, slow and steady. And just feel that contraction. I promise you, you can get a good workout. I mean, this is only five pounds, and you can get you can get it in. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for you. Um, stay motivated. Stay in the gym. All right. God bless.